Hi, my name is Justin Price and I'm the creator of the Biomechanics Method which provides corrective exercise education for health and fitness professionals. Today I'm going to show you three exercises using the TRX to help improve hip and trunk mobility in the transverse plane which means in rotation to help you play injury and pain-free sports this summer. The reason why I want to help improve rotation is most of the big muscles of the trunk wrap around the body and help you with rotation. For example, the gluteus maximus, the obliques, and the lats wrap around the body and insert or attach to pieces on the spine and to the hips. So for example, let's imagine this foot is fixed to the ground, which is what would happen if you're going to hit a tennis forehand, take a back swing in golf. So your glute max muscle inserts on your lower leg. It picks up via connective tissue the muscles of the lower leg, so effectively wraps underneath your foot. It comes up the leg via some tissues on the side of the leg, wraps around your hips, picks up the latissimus dorsi or your lats on the opposing side, connects via connective tissue to all the muscles that come up your arm. So now imagine you're taking a backswing in golf. This is fixed, this arm's rotating, you're creating tension in this rubber band, which is the system of muscles. That tension helps decelerate the stress to your ankle, knee, hip, trunk, arm and shoulder. It also creates power to help you accelerate. So these muscles help decrease stress to the body, but also help produce power for a more effective tennis shot, forehand, backhand, so forth. So I'm going to show you exercises that will help load these structures as you rotate to help improve mobility in the hips, the ankles and the trunk, and also strengthen these muscles. The first exercise is a stretch. We're going to go to a stretch first to mobilize the hip and the trunk before we start loading it up too much with more pressure from contacting the ground and creating a more dynamic movement. This first exercise is called your rotating hip and back stretch. Now you can see as we sit back into this, I've got my foot flexed. So that's what would happen when your foot's on the ground, it would be dorsiflexed. So you're going to flex your foot and you're going to reach up and rotate underneath your armpit so your torso rotates past your hip. Make sure your foot doesn't come with you. So keep your foot toe up and fixed in the position so your leg stays straight. You're going to sit back and you're going to rotate underneath your armpit. You can come back to the center. You can do one side at a time or you can shift. So you can start here, sit back, rotate, rotate making sure your leg stays fixed and you're starting to open up your hips and trunk for our next exercise. Our next exercise is called the rotating forehand to backhand. Now, we're going to do that because we're going to use one arm, so we're not going to force the trunk into too much rotation in case you're tight. And we're going to start by rotating around our fixed leg. So now we're taking what we learn in our stretch where our foot now is fixed and we're rotating our torso around our hip, starting to load the glutes, mobilize the hip, mobilize the ankle, getting stronger through our obliques and opposing lat. And we can shift now to the backhand side, which does the same thing. My left foot is now fixed and my torso is rotating around a fixed hip, strengthening my glutes, my obliques, and so forth. So, if we rotating forehand to backhand, that's a little more dynamic. Now, if we integrate the other arm into the next exercise, we can create even more trunk rotation, which will turn on the butt, the obliques, the big muscles of the trunk even more. Make sure you use these exercises in the progression I'm showing you so you mobilize these tissues and then start to load them up more and more. So this last exercise is now both hands, one foot forward, now I'm rotating. I've got this arm pulling my torso, this arm's rotating me as well, so I've got much more rotation, much more glute activation, much more oblique act activation, slowing my torso down, decelerating stress to the joints. Head stays forward and I switch and as I get more confident with this exercise I can turn it into the exercise which is called the rotating power jump exercise. Utilizing those exercises in that order will really help improve mobility of the hips and the trunk in the transverse plane and specifically help you for sports such as golf, tennis, throwing a ball and so forth. Good luck this summer, enjoying your sports, and I look forward to seeing you again.